morning i'm brooklyn J, and welcome back welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're returning thank you so much and if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it so today we are getting into a vlog i haven't really vlogged in a little minute however i'm back today so it's a couple things going on between this weekend it was my sister's birthday on wednesday so we're going to be celebrating that Tomorrow, I have a nail appointment today. I have a hair appointment. I'm going to brunch this weekend. I have a couple errands to run right now. So it's a busy week. <laughs> it's definitely a busy week. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. Today, I have a nail appointment at one. These were my nails, which I absolutely loved okay girl and i got so many compliments but i don't care if i got compliments or not i love them and i've really been into like the different shapes on the nails so shout out to my girl winter because she did her thing okay <laughs> so i have like the stiletto on these fingers and then i have just the short square on those and i love those so i'm getting my nails redone today but i'm getting something simple today i'm not going to get all of the designs because i don't know what i'm going to be wearing and everything throughout the weekend i had got some new clothes and some new pieces however not even gonna lie not satisfied enough for it for some of the events but i'm gonna just have to make it do what it is i told you guys it was my sister's birthday so i got her these little balloons um and i got her a gift too but I want to show y'all what I really, really got her. Some cupcakes. Some cupcakes. And they were so bomb. Let me show you. So she really kept talking about strawberry shortcake. And these were so delicious. I'm about to eat one now before I leave. So this is my fit. This, um little turtleneck this is from top shop and i love this thing it's so comfortable and then my sweatpants again are from czar they have really good sweatpants and i didn't even realize it that being said let's get a cupcake but honestly honestly i really need to have like some food food because i know i'm gonna be in the nail salon for at least three hours because i'm getting i'm getting my nails done and getting my toes done and me and my girl we be in there cutting up so we be in there talking and stuff so i probably do need i don't have any i have some macaroni and cheese that i could warm up so oops. maybe i'll warm that up so, today for real for real i should have went to the gym this morning these cupcakes oh my gosh they are so good so mm. Mm, 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 mm. you only need one because they're rich girl mm, honey mm, I can take the okay thank you so i got two things of hair i kind of i just need a car max y'all the like price of hair has gone up i got two packs for a quick weave last time i went it was probably like 50 something 60 something dollars it was almost a hundred dollars 93.99 for the hair that's not even including me getting this out i'm just like when like the prices like oh my gosh it's just so frustrating it's 12.07. I'm going to tell my nail tech that I can get to my appointment at 12.45 instead. So that way I can leave a little bit earlier.
posting the pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, Hey you guys, um, back in the house Here are my nails Let me get Super cute So Let it focus Stay focused and let me show you my toes. I had pink last time, but I went back white. <laughs> Love Hey, y'all. So my sister actually decided not to go to the mall. Turn this TV down some. So she decided not to go to the mall. We went to just Chick-fil-A. Y'all know the only thing that I had was that macaroni. So I got me a carb salad, no bacon, no tomato. And then the avocado lime ranch. If you've never had it, you have to try it. It's so good. And then, you know, I decided to be a little, you know, extra. I got a small ice cream cup and a fry because fries dipped in ice cream is delicious. So let's get a bowl. I like to put my salad in a bigger bowl. I have to work out tonight. I told you guys that earlier. So let's make this salad. I'm gonna add a little bit of dressing at the bottom. I love me a salad girl. So here is my salad. Can't wait to dig in. It's gonna be so good. I'm about to get my hair done. I'm super excited because Kira's about to kill it like she always does. She was with a client, so she said she'll get back to me. She'll call me shortly, and hopefully, I can prayerfully, I'm praying, Lord, please help me to be able to get this nail fixed today, because it's going, it's just so cute, and I should have been more careful. However, just got back home. We are, it's so nasty outside. It's so nasty outside. We are going to, like, dinner for my sister. I told you guys that for her birthday. So, I am actually, I wanted to wear something cute. Like, I kind of wanted to be my makeup and stuff, but I, it's just so nasty outside. I just don't think the makeup thing is going to happen. This is what I'm wearing right now. So, I just have on some Adidas sweatpants and then this little black top. And I actually like this top. So, maybe I can wear this top and do like a pair of jeans or something and like some boots. I've been trying to transition into my springtime clothes. So I'm actually disappointed about the weather because I, I had got my toes on so that way I can wear like some heel sandals or something. So I'm really disappointed. Uh, so I am about to pick out an outfit. Let me see something real quick. It's literally a mess, I just want to say. So it's really embarrassing actually, but it's just the reality. So. I need to pick out an outfit for tonight, for dinner, dinner. So, 
low key. I want to wear some heels, but <sighs> probably not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. This hoodie, it's just a basic pink hoodie. I'm trying to think things. Now, these jeans have a little bit of ripped action in them. And I think that, I think that these are cute. But I want to do like, I really honestly, I want to wear some heels. Because I have not worn heels in a while. And I kind of want to get a picture. Kind of. So, let's try that. Turn this light off. Let's try that. Let's try that. I think I'll just wear some, I don't know. I told you guys. I want to wear these so bad I wore them one time and they're cute and this will actually go with the pink and the pink and the cream that's actually a look so these jeans are from I want to say Urban Outfitters this hoodie's pretty little thing, and then I'ma just kind of doll it up. I'm not gonna lie, these jeans are just very tight at the top. I'm really starting to not like jeans as much as I once did because I just feel like they can be uncomfortable. So I like stuff with stretch. So if you can just kind of tell by how I'm pulling it, it's like super like snug right here and sometimes it can be just uncomfortable my detective jacket jacket <laughs> this is this um what's this leather jacket pink little hoodie jeans and then i put on my black boots do i have another option do we like these i love these so i actually got these from target and these are so cute and the gold hoop or are we feeling the stud? Little simple look. Let me get my stand. I just want to feel. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? Maybe I should just do one of each. Super cute. <laughs> I definitely want to do. I'm gonna do my gold ones. And I don't know why, but I've definitely been really appreciating. Like, what am I doing? I've definitely been appreciating little like dainty cute little statement pieces of jewelry because i feel like it just can elevate the look not gonna lie i'm not really feeling these jeans because i don't like the way that it's so long in the front area look so i'm about to change my pants too ah! y'all pray for me oh girl i'm so scared I'm scared because I really okay <laughs> girl you got sober ouch ow that's what I get it's so earthy broke is it is that what I'm doing and my sections are too big I know that for sure See, I told y'all, this is hair store hair. I knew it was gonna start burning. <laughs> so, this is what we call elevated staple <laughs> pink hoodie. Pretty little thing, Adidas sweatpants, and then my black boots, and my little black crossbody bag.
I look super crusty right now, but that's because I'm getting ready. I actually put on lashes, so I told you guys that I was going to brunch today. Here, picking out a couple of outfits. Let me show you guys what I have so far. Not sure. I really want to do like a sweat suit look. I have these black sweatpants. Um, yeah, I have these black sweatpants, and then I have also these sevens that are really comfortable. I really like these. I definitely probably am going to wear just my black turtleneck. Just this one. So yeah, it's just a high neck turtleneck from Fashion Nova, and then I'll probably wear like a jacket. Hey. <laughs> so I'm in my bathroom. Y'all, I did this all backwards. I put on my lashes first. Like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna wear any makeup. But, and I'm really not wearing any makeup. My life is so dim. I haven't applied makeup in so long. I can't even tell you the last time. I just, whenever I don't do makeup, but I still want to have my blemishes away, I'll use this dark, deepest, mineralized skin finish. The only thing with this is, when you apply it and you don't actually wear makeup, well, at least I get oily, but I've only kind of done that in the summertime when I've worn that. So maybe since it's the winter time and it's still chilly outside, I'll be able to, um, it won't be oily. But my hair did well. Uh-oh, it's giving flips. It's getting Carol Brady. <laughs> I have been kind of asking the Lord for like part-time job. And I had gone on like a couple of different interviews. And I ended up getting an, an offer. And I'm like, okay, you know. I'm like, okay, like this is cool. But it's like the minute I got it, I still didn't have Peace. I'm just kind of like, I'm grateful, but I'm like, I just didn't feel that that aligned with what God had for me in my life, you know? I believe that the Lord has given me a clear, I don't want to say clear because it's not always clear, but I believe that the Lord has given me some clarity as it pertains to what my future like some of the things that he has for me to do and I just didn't believe that that particular job aligned with that and it's not to say that the Lord won't have me like take directions and other avenues but I just it's like this is just not just not aligning with the vision that the Lord that I believe that the Lord has given to me and so I had accepted it but it's like I accepted it but I was hesitant because I'm like this is not it like it was just something in my spirit like red flag you know, it was just like, this is not it, this is not it, this is not it. But I accepted it because at that particular moment, I was just kind of like, okay, like, what should I do? So I ended up accepting it, but it was like, I accepted it, but I accepted it. And I, like, immediately after I was still looking for other work, like, other jobs, because just like, oh. I don't believe this is it, <laughs> you know? I don't believe that this was it. And it wasn't that it was necessarily a bad job or anything, but I just didn't believe that it was for me. And so I ended up, um, I was about to, like they had sent me some, over some paperwork to do. And I was just like, I just don't think that this is just not, this is just not it. So I did end up sending 
like an email saying like thank you so much because they they were very nice you know i was just like you know i just don't believe that you know i can take on that at this time type of thing and they were very nice they ended up like calling me and stuff and they really wanted me to take it but i'm just trying to learn i'm just in this season of my life i'm learning how to just rest in God and at the end of the day you some no one else can tell you I mean that's not to say that the Lord can't give another person wisdom or insight as it pertains to you because I believe that he does do that but if God has given you a clear vision like he's told you certain things you have to hold on to that and although it might look a particular way or it might be like other people trying to tell you oh girl that's a bad idea because I've been keeping my mouth shut and shut as well because I believe that the Lord things that the Lord has for me if I start running my mouth people are going to start putting their own mouth in it and telling me showing you it um, that's not right that's not wise that's stupid you're taking a big risk as opposed to me just listening to what I know the Lord has said to me so I've been keeping my mouth shut I haven't been telling people, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm letting the Lord use me, and when it happens, it happens. And I'm just learning in this season how just to rest and wait in the Lord, you know. And I, I had told the job, like, I would rather not start it, you know, than to get started and then I leave. Because I just, I knew that it wasn't aligned with what the Lord had me doing, you know. I knew that it wasn't along with God's perfect will for my life so I didn't want to start it so I did send in an email I kind of I didn't feel bad but I kind of did feel bad because I did say I accepted it and I'm not trying to like back up on my word or anything like that but it's like the I, sometimes I believe that the Lord will be saying certain stuff to me and sometimes I'm not listening or I'm not hearing clearly I don't know but one thing in this season I'm trying to learn Lord whatever the lesson is let me learn it the first time that way I don't have to go through any consequences y'all because I'm tired of consequences I'm tired I'm tired I just want to learn it the first time and the Bible says that all things work together for, the, for those who love Christ and I just believe that even if I mishear him he'll still redirect me and although with this particular job yes I did mishear him and I thought it was okay at first. I thought that the Lord was telling me to go ahead. But although that wasn't the case, he still realigned my steps, my footsteps. He still showed me like, okay, Brooklyn, don't go that way. Instead of busting that right, bust this left right here. So I'm just really trying to learn how just to listen the first time and to really I've been learning how to just go to the Lord first and say Lord okay what are you saying to me Lord what do you have to say about this because in the past I've gone to friends I've gone to family you know and and it's not to say that those are always bad outlets but it's to say that I should be seeking the Lord first like okay Lord this job just said this or this opportunity came about what do you want me to do not what do I want to do, not what does my homegirl want me to do, what do you want me to do, because he knows best, you know, and in the past, I've gotten caught up in telling other people first, and crying, you know, like, pouring out my heart to them, as opposed to going to the Lord in prayer, and being on my knees about it, and that's where I believe the Lord has me, just being on my face before him, what do you want me to do? What is your perfect will for me? What are you saying? So, I've just been keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> because I just believe that that's best. And I want God's absolute best for my life. I want the best possible situation. Because when, when it's the best possible situation, it's no mistakes in it. Will things happen? Yes. Will it always be perfect? No. But I will have peace to know, no, this is where God sent me. And I didn't have that peace. So, I ended up, I don't want to say I quit, because I, I ended up quitting before I started. <laughs> because I just didn't think that 
got to protect. And another thing I'm trying to do is stop trying to make things work. I have been guilty of that. Like, I know that the Lord might have told me, don't be friends with that person. But because I'm like, no, it's potential there. No, I just want to be that friend. I go ahead and I start hanging out and doing whatever. And then I end up with my feelings hurt. And sometimes things are not even, it's not sinful. Some things are not sinful. Some things are. But some things are not sinful. But it's just not wise or it's just not aligned with the purpose that the Lord has for you. So I'm just trying to think about the bigger picture as opposed to the here and now. What will my life, what does the Lord have for me years down the road? down the road and I believe that he's given me a glimpse of that so now that I have a glimpse of it I can hold on to that promise I can hold on to the vision and I can say okay anything outside of that that does not align with this it's gotta go it's not for me it's not where the Lord is sending me so that's definitely helped me kind of because I've done that before like I've made so many bad choices bad choices bad choices in friendships, bad choices in men that I like, bad choices in just life. I've just made bad choices, things that I've said out of my mouth. I've made bad choices and I don't want to make those same mistakes anymore. And if I, buy, if I bow before the Lord the first time and I ask him the first time, although I might still be like, okay, Lord, what are you saying? I might feel maybe a little confused or I don't 100% know. I believe that where the Lord is sending me, I will still have a level of peace that nobody else can get me. So I'm just trying to learn this decision the first time. I mean, learn the answers and ask the Lord the first time. That way I have no consequences because I'm tired of getting, I'm tired of getting in trouble by God. All right. And sometimes it's not bad, but I don't want to, you, you shouldn't want to make the same mistakes one, two, one too many times. So my idea was to be able to wear like a heel type of sandal, hence why I did get a pedicure because like something like this I'm not saying this particular shoe although it is cute with this but something like this with the leather pants I mean not the leather pants the sweatpants like that was my idea but the weather is literally so stinking crazy that I can't even wear this and I don't I need to honestly invest in some more just regular like boot heels oh i put on this ring and i put on my watch i probably need to fix that ring a little bit but that's a little accessories but back home <laughs> sorry you guys i didn't really vlog much at the restaurant we ended up going to cheesecake factory and this is what i was saying by that mineralizer makes my sense my skin super oily but anyway uh it just wasn't the time to vlog it was a really good time i enjoyed hanging out as i always do going to brunch and doing girly things um but it was just, I haven't seen her in a while. So we were t actually talking, you know, I didn't feel like now was the time to me to be like, hey girl, what'd you get to eat? And pulling out my camera and all of that stuff. Eh, too much this time around. But next time we link, um, I'm gonna get some footage in. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning into another vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications because it's gonna be some new videos. And also, if you have not, checked out the rest of my moving series make sure you click those videos and you check those out because i'm going to be doing some fully furnished parts of my house very soon um it's almost to the place where we want it so yeah make sure you check that out and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys